Hey guys, Rome Zai here. Uh, when I was in college, uh, I was so depressed. Man, I, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep till like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning my first few years of college. But then as I got to years 5, 6, and 7, uh, I wasn't able to sleep at all. At all. I had a, like a three month stretch where I would probably close my eyes for about a, an hour, an hour and a half for the whole night. Man, I was so depressed. I was having suicidal thoughts. I had anxiety. I was jittery. Um, I couldn't recover. Man, I used to get sick all the time. Uh, it was it was miserable. And man, the reason why I was having the suicidal thoughts was because I thought that life was supposed to be that way. Everybody was telling me, "Oh man, you're in school. You're doing great. Like you're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a nurse." Or, and and I didn't know what what would happen after I got to that job that I would hate. And um, one day I made the decision uh, that I was just like, nah, fuck it, I'm not gonna go to school anymore. And uh, it was terrifying. I was terrified to tell my parents. I was scared of what they would think of me. I was scared about what my grandparents would think of me. Uh, my grandma said, no, 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 you can't do that. Cause I already told all my friends, you're gonna be a doctor, right? So it was, it, it was kind of funny, but it was not funny at all. Um, the problem with that was that I let other people make my choices for me throughout life and I got used to that path, you know, and after I made that one big decision, um, it was, it was huge. It was huge for me. It changed my entire life. It changed my whole trajectory. It changed where I was going. And then after that, when I opened up a martial arts gym, man, I was terrified all of the time. Not only did I have the student loans piling up from before. Well, now I had all these other loans for the gym, and um, as the years went by and my gym collapsed, which is another story that I'll tell you about another time, um, I decided to close the gym and move to Costa Rica. Man, what people told me during that decision was crazy. First, the same people that told me that the gym's never going to work uh, were the same people that told me, man, that's the craziest thing ever. Costa Rica... You're, you're a madman, you're, you're a lunatic, you're an idiot, you're a fucking moron. Um, and now we're here, we're in Costa Rica, we're here for a year, and um, man, when we got here, it was kind of scary too. We came here, we had $3,000 in our bank account. We didn't tell anybody we had $3,000, everybody thought we were balling, we had all this money. We didn't have shit. We had $3,000 in the bank account, and... Um, it was do or die. And every single one of my decisions, uh, the reason why they all worked out was one, is I took a courageous step, and two, I was super fucking committed. When I was leaving school, it was like, man, I'd rather kill myself than go back to school. When I was opening up the gym, I was, man, if I don't make this work, well, I'm gonna die. So those are the only two decisions. And the Costa Rica thing, when we moved to Costa Rica, it was do or die. So we needed to make a recurring, monthly, really good income. And uh, we needed to make Costa Rica a reality. And we did. And it was fucking terrifying. And I know that you have decisions that you need to make in your life that are fucking terrifying right now. And the reason why you're putting it off is because you're scared. Well, I'm telling you, I've been on in your shoes. And I'm on the other side right now. And it's not as scary after you do it. Just take the first step. Make a phone call. Write it down. Um, talk to somebody. Talk to somebody that already did it. Don't talk to your friends and your family. Those are the people that are keeping you at, depressed, unhappy. And it's not because they, they know that they're doing They're not doing it on purpose. They just don't know any way, other way to lead their lives. So stop listening to the people that, that are the naysayers in your life. Talk to people that are doing it. Talk to people that inspire you. Reach out. Um, just do the things that, that you need to do to be the person that you need to become. Thank you.